you want to turn yourself into an anime character using mid-journey and AI art? It's a pretty simple process and the way it starts is I have this photo of me I'm going to use as a reference. What we're going to do is head to postimage.cc and I'm going to upload this image. And we're going to head down to the direct link here and I'm going to hit copy. The next step is to go into mid-journey, I type in slash, imagine, paste that link in there. And all I'm going to do is describe myself very simply. I'll just say man's face with a beard and type in dash dash Niji space five for Niji five. There's a few other things we can do as well, but for now we're just going to do this to show you what happens. Now we get this image here. We do get a bit of a mix of styles and they do kind of look like me and they're not perfect. But if you like the ones you get off the bat straight away, that's pretty good. I think this one here looks the most anime style, but uh, maybe I decide I'm not happy with that. I do recommend actually re-rolling on odd occasion to see if you can get some better results. So once again, we can re-roll to see what mid-journey gives us. And again, we get some different results. Again, the bottom left seems to be the best, maybe bottom right. And the idea is you can keep re-rolling until you get the uh, sort of the look you're after. However, what you can do is go to slash settings, turn on remix mode, and then we scroll back up. And this time when we re-roll, we can actually go in here and type in comma in anime drawing style. And we can continue to adjust our prompt, add in different things to see what look we get from there. Now this actually isn't too bad. There's a lot better prop pictures here. They, they do kinda, they don't really look like me per se, but they do have my features, which is pretty cool. But one other tip, if you're looking at re-rolling, is this time when having remix mode turned on, hit re-roll, and we're gonna add in dash dash IW for image weight. And I'm gonna say 1.5, put a space in there between that and the number to increase how much my image influences the picture. So let's try that one and see what results we get now. And now we have these images looking a little bit closer to the image I used. Hey, this top right one here looks pretty good. I think it's probably the closest one, but you can see how with a few tweaks, you can start to steer it in the right direction. Now, you could probably even just go straight for that higher image weight and type in anime style if you really want to nail it down. But uh, when you've got the image you want, you simply upscale it and you're good to go. But there's a few other options you can try. Now, I'm pretty happy with this result, although the anime character looks a lot better than I do in real life, but I don't need to stick to that one option. I can also try Niji 4, or just type in Niji without the number. But another thing you do is try Niji styles like cute or expressive or scenic, or you can even forget Niji altogether and just type in in anime style drawing with version 5.1, 5, or any of the normal ones from there. And you can get different results with each time you try it. Although some of these will be hit and miss. But you can also try adding in cartoon styles. You can add in their comma, Dragon Ball Z style, or Ghost in the Shell style, Pokemon style, or even Akira style if you want to try and marry it up with your favorite anime shows. Now, I highly recommend you just experiment with this. Have a lot of fun. You could even do it with celebrities and type in their celebrity names if you want to get some uh, cool results that way. Otherwise, it's a good sign of how far AI art has, has come with the ability to use images in your prompts. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, if you want to do that, have a bit of fun with it. Nothing too serious. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.